Sue Barker, 66, returns to the nation's screens this week as she presents the BBC's coverage of Wimbledon. The TV host and former tennis player is on BBC Two this morning live from the All England Club. These championships are Barker's last as a BBC anchor, after she announced she was stepping down earlier this month. And on Thursday evening, there is one face in the crowd on centre court that might tug on Barker's heartstrings, Sir Cliff Richard. Barker's presenter's 30-year stint on the BBC is far from the only achievement of her successful career. As a tennis player, Barker picked up 15 WTA Tour singles titles and even won the 1976 French Open. The former world number three, who also bowed out as the question of sport host last year, has also led an intriguing life away from the cameras and the tennis court. One chapter that drew much interest was her whirlwind romance with the musician Sir Cliff Richard. Barker has been married to her husband Lance Tankard since 1988 but was in a brief relationship with former Shadows frontman Sir Cliff at the start of the 80s. The singer claimed in his 2020 autobiography that Barker took him to another world as they played tennis together. He said, I had played the sport now and again, with friends, not terribly well. It was no big deal, and I could take it or leave it. Even so, it was nice when Sue invited me to have a game with her at her club. Now he'll get to see how the pros do it, I thought. It was another world completely, another galaxy from the Hit and Hope style parks tennis that I was used to. Sue and I knocked the ball around for a bit, although I got the distinct impression that she was kindly hitting it to places that were easy for me to reach. Sir Cliff said these days, he and Barker continue to have a deep friendship and share fond memories of their time together. The pair originally met after a mutual friend, a vicar in Liverpool called Alan Godson, called Sir Cliff about Barker. He suggested that the rock star may be able to help her explore her faith given that he was someone in the public eye who was openly Christian. In his book, Sir Cliff described a night out with Barker and some friends as they went to a Shadows gig together. He said, out of the blue, I called Sue up in London, to her surprise. And we arranged to go and see the Shadows at the Dominion Theatre a day or so later. We went with Bill Latham and a friend of Sue's, her fellow tennis player Sue Mappen, and then had dinner. I invited Sue to come with me to All Souls, Langham Place, just off Oxford Street, where I knew the minister. She loved it because it had a very down-to-earth congregation, with a lot of students, and we had a lot of easy, relaxed conversations there about what faith means. If I gave Sue a little help in easing into the Christian world, she gave me something very important in return, tennis. Day 3 of Wimbledon airs on BBC Two this afternoon. The Dreamer, an autobiography, was written by Cliff Richard and published by Ebury Publishing in 2020. It is available here.